This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says a product originally cost $125. If the product goes on sale for 20% off and then goes on sale for an additional 30% off, what is the price of the product? So in this case, the one thing you cannot do is combine 20% and 30% and take a 50% discount. That will get you the wrong answer. Instead, you have to apply these discounts individually. So let's get started with this first discount of 20%. Again, to find the sales price, you're going to take the original price. And from that, you're going to subtract the original price times the discount amount. The original price is $125. And what is the discount amount? Well, for this first discount, it's 20%, which is either 0.2 as a decimal or one-fifth as a fraction. I'm going to use the fraction one-fifth because this is very easy to do mentally. This becomes 125 minus, what's 125 times one-fifth? That's the same thing as 125 divided by five, which is gonna be 25. Now, if you couldn't do that mentally, you could always do it off to the side. We have 125 divided by five, five goes into 12, two times without going over, five times two is 10. 12 minus 10 is two, drop down this five, five times five is 25. All right, so 125 minus 25 is 100. Now we're gonna do the same thing for our 30% discount. This becomes sales price equals original price minus original price times discount amount. In this case, our new price is $100, so we'll plug that in for original price. This becomes 100 minus 100 times our discount amount. What is our discount amount? It's 30%, which is 0.3 as a decimal. So this is times 0.3. This math is very easy to do mentally. 100 times 0.3 is 30. 100 minus 30 is 70. So after two successive discounts, the final price of our product is B, $70.